Explain 2020 Update 2 adds several new features and workflows, such as two additional somatic keyers. One allows you to segment and isolate human bodies in your scene. You can refine the key to get the end result needed, and then any color grade or effect will be applied just to those human bodies. You can also switch to selected mode to isolate only one body in your scene. By inverting the key, you can easily apply effects to the background and not affect the human bodies. You can even drag and drop the keyer and all the effects applied to it from one clip to another. The human face model allows you to isolate the faces in your scene just as the human body model. Once again, you can switch to selected mode and key out just one face and easily pick which face in the scene you want isolated. And because this is a machine learning tool, it will be applied to all the frames automatically. Within the Selective 3D AOV primitive, you can now interact with the widget to perform X and Y translation and rescale the primitive directly in the viewport. You can position the primitive at a specific depth value by holding a hotkey and dragging in the view. The widget works with either one of the primitives available to you, the sphere or the cube. There is an improved compare workflow. The flame artist can now store unlimited reference stills. Stills are grabbed into the grabbed reference library, where stills can be renamed, reordered, and deleted from the media panel. These compared stills can be recalled from a pull-down menu or by using hotkeys. This new compare workflow is available in the effects tab and in Batch, the node compositing environment. There are 20 new substance materials added in version 2020 update 2 of Flame and Flare. There is also a new and improved burn-in metadata workflow, GPU accelerated media pre-processing, Blackmagic Design video preview devices are now supported on Flame on Linux, plus more. Thank you.